What's up everyone? Trey Lyle, Michael Massey, frontstretch.com, standing in front of the race winning hauler of Eric Almarola. The 20 team for Joe Gibbs Racing punches their ticket to the championship four. Well, the owner's championship four, eliminating Cole Custer from that side. But it was a different Joe Gibbs Racing vehicle and Cole Custer. That probably is going to be the biggest takeaway of this race. Eric Almarola dominated. He, he swept the stages. It, it, I mean, it was a, basically a repeat of what we saw in the spring. But Cole Custer made a lot of people mad tonight. He was mad. Justin Allgaier was mad at him. But ultimately, this feud that happened at Kansas uh, a few weeks ago now has led to here between Chandler Smith and Cole Custer. It leads to a confrontation of sorts, uh, a little... A, a swing was thrown by Chandler Smith, Massey. Um, uh, just take us through what, what happened there. Yeah, so obviously, you know, this race every year, Xfinity Series of Martinsville, it's always aggressive. And tonight was no different. Chandler and Custer, I mean, they were beating and banging for, it felt like, the entire race. A lot of it, for sure. Uh, and Chandler had worked his way around Cole, obviously using contact, but... Then Cole shipped him so hard, he sails up the track, you know, loses several spots. He really had to fight. Ended his day. Probably ended his chance of winning. His bid for the win, and he had to win. He had to win if he was going to make the championship four. Cole Custer made it on points, uh, but that really upset Chandler, obviously. He still finished third, but not good enough. Uh, so he's, after the race, they meet up at the cars. There's some heated conversation. Words we can't say. Yeah. Let's just if you go watch the video, I tweeted it at Trail VT. A selfish plug right there. Also right here on the YouTube channel. So you can check it out there actually, right after this. You can kinda if you're really good at lip reading, you can kinda read the lips of Cole Custer before the, the slap app. And anyways, yeah, you you answered. He he uh, all of a sudden wham. You know, and, uh, and the distance that Massey hit, like, slap me, air quotes around slap me, was probably the distance that Chandler Smith got. Hey, it's a good thing Cole Custer's been doing the, the pro wrestling uh, appearances because he, he knew how to dodge a, a, a punch, and maybe some of those punches look a little more real than, than he, that one. <laughs> he laughed and was like, let's go. Yeah, and, yeah. and then while cars were moving, the crew came in. But but th So that, that happened. Ultimately, the, the championship four was kind of what we said last night. If there was no new winner, it is Austin Hill, A.J. Allmendinger, both won. Then, you know, probably the two best all year in terms of the full-time guys. Justin Allgaier, Cole Custer, racing for the championship. Ultimately, walks behind us right yeah, now. there's Justin Allgaier right there. Right there. <laughs> um, you know, heading, heading to Phoenix, and we want to talk about Allgaier's performance. It was very workmanlike. He, he didn't really... He, he, he stayed up towards the front all day. He, I think he did a, a really, really good job. And, and we'll get to the other JRM guy that maybe had a shot at the end in a moment. But uh, I feel like Justin Allgaier had kind of the perfect night he needed. Yeah, I feel like, you know, in a night of aggressiveness, he wasn't that aggressive. He kind of, you know, he, he got points when he needed them. But it was when someone like a Sheldon Creed or Chandler Smith came up and they were looking pretty aggressive... He just let him go on by, uh, live to fight another day. And, you know, the, the way he was able to score stage points, he came in with a seven-point buffer over Custer and ten points in the, if you want to go owner points. Uh, but he scored enough stage points to where they'd really have to – they they have to beat him by – Custer would have to beat him by eight spots or, or win the race to, to really jump him. Or, you know, it, it, somebody else, he already had such a point advantage over everyone else that – they had to win, and to win, they had to get through him, and he was kind of uh, the gatekeeper of people getting up there. Uh, smart move by the end, by the way. He's running second, the last restart. He's running third. He's inside He's third. Third. inside road one. He, uh, he no, no, because he let Sammy Smith. Sammy Smith. So yeah. you're, this, is, this is, we're in sync right now, because this is going to be my next topic. Yeah. The end of the race. <laughs> Sammy Smith was outside front row on the final restart. Almarola gets away, but Sammy truly never let him go. It's just it, it felt like 
and I know you talked to him post race. He just didn't. Ha he needed a little bit more, and I think if he got closer, it, it would have gotten an interesting finish. But I will say this: this caps off, I think, an impressive performance from Sammy Smith. He was the final seed coming in, and he was closer than anyone today to punching his ticket to the championship four. And I, I talked to Justin Allgaier about it. He talked about the changes on the eight team and that they're going to be a real threat next year. So I want to give Sammy Smith, even though he fell short, a lot of credit. Yeah, that's a good result, good showing, knowing you're heading back with the same group next year. That's some positive momentum. I know a lot of people have been discounting momentum in playoffs and all that, but I think there's something to it. Uh, just to go up there with, you forget, Eric Camarola is a Cup Series winner. And to be right on his heels, to at least keep him honest at the end of the race, was a really good showing by Sammy Smith. Uh, so I think, you know, it's year two for him. I expect an even bigger jump from in his performance going into year three. So we are two for two and post-race interactions. I think that's the word I'm going to use, interactions. Let's lead to Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I think the biggest story from qualifying is not the fact that Martin Shrex Jr. is on the pole. It's what happened to his Joe Gibbs Racing teammate, Denny Hamlin. In the words of both of them, a one in a mil hundred million thing happened, and it happens to Denny Hamlin. A piece of rubber gets stuck in the throttle. The throttle gets stuck. He wrecks the car. They are not going to a backup car. He had a really good car. I believe he was, he was first for a majority of practice. I think he ended up fourth, if I'm not mistaken, at the end of this. But um, ultimately, Hamlin's going to start in the back. How big of a how big of a hole is he in tomorrow? Massive, huge hole because he didn't get to qualify. He's starting in the back, and we know with the next gen car at Martinsville, it is hard to pass, extremely hard. Now, hopefully, with the tire they brought this weekend, it will wear more, and you will have comers and goers. But if it's anything like this spring, if it's anything like last year. He's got his work cut out for him. Maybe they can do some kind of like flip the stages, you know, pit. Uh, there's a caution before the end of the stage. Maybe they pit or something like that. Don't go for stage points uh, and get some track position. But I don't know. It's, it's really tough. I just want to know, what did Denny Hamlin do? Did someone do like... Some a witch do hire a witch doctor to do some voodoo on him or something? Because Martin Truck Shooter said... He's just as scared about getting struck by lightning as he is that same thing happening to his car as what happened to Hamlin today. I believe Hamlin was like, one in a million thing happened, and of course it happens to me. Um, let, let's, let's break down the rest. I think one storyline we're not talking I think a lot has been talked about Kyle Larson. A lot has been talking about Ryan Blaney, Chase Elliott. Not a lot has been focused on the 24 car of William Byron. Maybe because of how I don't poorly he did in this race last year. But he is the race winner of this year. He did win the last time we were here at Martinsville. Based off of conversations, based off of your interaction with him, we'll just put it that way, he seems pissed off. Could William Byron, I don't even want to say surprise everyone tomorrow, but it, it, it seems like no one's talking about the 24 team, and they're ready to shut a lot of people up tomorrow. Well, the craziest thing is he's in the best position outside of Christopher Bell. He's got a seven-point advantage, and we know like, if it's anything like last week where you have all the contenders running up there in the top ten, it's hard to gain a point, let alone seven. So like, Larson's really going to have to outrun him, or someone else will have to go up there and win. And you're right, this is his track. Any other track, I'd take Kyle Larson outperforming William Byron. But Martinsville, I like Byron. He's really good here. Has been his whole career. Has two wins, and I just I look for him to do it. it. You know, if there's not a new winner, I think he easily points his way into here. Hey, he could be the winner. <laughs> I honestly think it's gonna break down like this. I think you're gonna have William Byron, who's pissed off, Kyle Larson, who's been the best in the sport this year. You're gonna have. Chase Elliott and Ryan Blaney, both who have won this race to stamp their tickets to win championships. And you're going to have a pissed off Denny Hamlin because it. let's just say it took a while after his throttle got stuck before he decided to talk to us. Um, 
it's gonna be a fun one. If if the first two races this weekend are anything like what we saw, I mean, bring your boxing gloves tomorrow, folks, and we'll have coverage all here at frontstretch.com. Subscribe, like this video, youtube.com backslash frontstretch. Follow us at m underscore massey22 at Trey Lyle VT. We're out for now. We'll be back tomorrow night to react to who's heading the championship four and the NASCAR Cup Series and heading to Phoenix. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Come back soon for more great racing videos. And if you like us, make sure to hit that subscribe button.